here with Marcy Van Dusen of the Titan Mercury Wrestling Club, also very active with the, the girl high school wrestlers in California. Uh, also beat the streets LA. Uh, Marcy, a uh, big event here in Las Vegas and you have a real good turnout. Talk a little bit about both the senior level and the younger athletes that you've been able to bring out. Yeah, um, we have a good team this year. We're continuing to grow. So in our second year, we have uh, 16 girls that are going to wrestle in the Open this year and uh, nine high school girls, which is a significant increase from what we had last year. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, Titan Mercury is growing uh, also on the men's side. But yeah. with your women's program, talk about the, the, you know, how much growth you've had in the last year and the kind of athletes that, that you're going to have in the tournament that have a chance to do real well. Uh, we have a lot of good athletes coming in. I mean, our, our, one of our top athletes, obviously, Lena Pereshkova, is one of our number ones. So we're hoping for some really great things from her. Uh, we have some that are coming up. Amanda Hendy is looking really good these days from King University. Then we have um, some girls uh, from Wayland Baptist that are wrestling for us that are looking good to your, to uh, Tamira Mencha. It's looking awesome. So. Uh, and then we're even getting some younger ones. So we have some new girls that we picked up uh, right after Dave Schultz this year. So uh, we've got some young ones that are going to need a little bit of development. But that's what we're here to do is support them and develop them. Now, the second year we've had a girls junior division here. Uh, how important it is for the younger girls to have this opportunity. I mean, but the guys have been able to wrestle in the high school level here for years. And yeah. now we're given an all women's uh, opportunity for the high school kids. Yeah, I mean, it's really big for us. Uh, you know, and we want to see even more, really. I mean, we're happy to get that, but we want to have little girls be able to compete out here, too. But um, we have, uh, it's also a qualifier for our California uh, national team, so for the Fargo Junior National Team. So the girls that place in the top three here then qualify for the national team as well. So it's kind of a double whammy for us, so we're excited about that, too. So you're real active in women's wrestling. You're on the women's sports committee. You're coaching athletes at many levels. Just how quickly and how well has women's wrestling grown in the last few years? Uh, we obviously have more Olympic opportunity now with two new weight classes. Yeah, it's been phenomenal, like unbelievable. When I moved back to California, I mean, that was when I really started working with youth more and uh, working with Beat the Streets Los Angeles and things like that. But uh, going to weekend tournaments where there's two to 300 girls on the weekend and there's not a single boy around, it's been pretty impressive. So, uh, and, and it continues to grow across the country. I think California definitely leads the way with uh, big large numbers and good tournaments and turnouts and even our state tournament this year I mean the girls really had to it was a hard qualifier to get in there and then the quality of wrestling is significantly improved I mean I think that we're starting to get better and better coaches that are more interested in women's wrestling and it's really uh, reflecting on the wrestlers now so as the coach what's a good performance for your uh, uh, the Titan Mercury women is it are you guys looking to try to uh, place as a team or are you looking just to see each individual? No, we're definitely trying to place as a team. So, I think uh, with 16 individuals. A pretty competitive club, there, right? Yeah, yeah, we are pretty competitive. I mean, the men, we're huge on the men's side, so I know that they're going to do really well. With 16 girls, I think that we have a good chance. You know, Sunkiss always brings amazing girls out, and they do a great job, so they're always going to be difficult, but uh, but we're, we're putting our best foot forward this time, so we'll see. Well, thanks so much, Marcy. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.